Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see what are the new features of 1909 technical preview version of SCM right as you can see this is 1908 technical preview version this is my lab and if i go to administration you would be able to see the latest version probably getting downloaded or getting updated so as you can see the 1909 version is getting downloaded uh, in this lab so let's let's get download let it get downloaded first and we will see afterwards okay so we are back and the download got completed now we need to right click and install it and installation is a quite quick process we will come back after the installation I'm more excited towards the features of this 1909 version of SCM technical preview. So let's come back after the installation or after the upgrade or after the update, whatever you want to call it, right? So let's see what is there in 1909 version. So since we have installed 1909 version and if i can go to the console properties you can see this is the console version of 1909 technical preview and this is the client version right so that got installed let's check a um, few things first right first thing is server groups got renamed or evolved into orchestration groups that is that is the orchestration groups is basically server groups we can orchestrate a lot of things for server patch management through this right so the server group evolved into orchestration group let me check how i can do that server patching let's click next and tp is for as my site code browse and let's go to advance and check what are the options available over here resources ip range now i changed it to system resource and this is also changed now this is basic okay so search i searched and i'm trying to add one device and let's see how i can click okay on this click okay i have added one and i can remove it if i want i think that is not working at the moment uh, yeah so over here in the rules they, we have three options right you can you can create a rule based on percentage or you can create a rule based on the numbers or you can specify the order right you can move up move down and all those fun stuff right so that's cool and in the pre script you can put put the powershell script over here and um, ask orchestration group to evaluate that before before starting the orchestration right so that's that's cool stuff right so and we have a post script page as well over there you can post the uh, you can put the post powershell script and you can perform the activities which you want to confirm after the after the patching or something right click next click okay close so that means we have created a orchestration group right 
let's see so we have two orchestration groups this is the one which we created just now and you can see show members option is there you can you can see resource id and guid oh that is orchestration group id right that is not guid uh, that is orchestration group id uh, the point is i can't see the name by default and it's not appearing probably that will get fixed in the future okay anyways that's that's good stuff orchestration big thumbs up for orchestration groups okay now let's now let's check mbump updates in 1909 version of SCM, right mbump Okay, let's click on client management operating system data sorry operating system drive and let's see configuration details enabled okay fine next enabled okay that's fine click next enabled right so this is the configuration and it's kind of straightforward setting and more details are available in the link which i'm going to provide in the description of this video so let's get into another exciting stuff over here right that is how to migrate sscm infrastructure to azure right now sscm team is providing a tool it's available in 1909 cd latest folder tools and if you if you come to extend migrate to azure so if you can launch this exe extend migrate to azure.exe you will see this options right so these are the things so it will basically what is up going to happen is after running this tool successfully a uh, SCM programmatically or this tool is basically programmatically going to create a passive SCM server in the cloud Azure cloud um, or Microsoft cloud and you can easily migrate your entire SCM infrastructure to cloud using this tool probably no when I say easily if you have all the prerequisites in place for example over here as you can see the network should be there express route should be there and or um, site to site vpn should be there and kind of stuff like that right you should have azure subscription and those 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 kind of fun stuff should be there if you have all the all those prerequisites then you can create a passive sscm server in your cloud infrastructure or cloud data center in in azure okay so that's cool stuff there are some other exciting features available in 1909 version of sscm something like in the task sequence you can download the content from cmg for uh, osd windows 10 osd local aid settings are available in the task sequence uh, apply windows settings tasks so those are the very exciting stuff and there are nothing much changed in the third party software update settings and catalogs and all so those are those are fine and from a software update perspective they have added pre-release version of windows support in sscm so you can patch those pcs and you can move the pcs into the windows insider ring uh, through sscm though so that is pretty cool right so that is it uh, for this video it was a quick overview of sscm 1909 technical preview version I hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like button if you don't like the video please click on dislike or unlike button thank you for watching see you next time